What is up everybody, AJ here back with another video So I'll be checking out Star Ocean The Second Story R Gameplay Trailer Now I've been wanting to try out this game ever since I watched the anime back when I was a teenager But unfortunately I didn't have the opportunity to do so because at that moment of time I do not know any consoles And I'm just glad that this game is available on Steam and it will be released on November 2nd. Anyway, um, let's not waste any more time and check out this gameplay trailer. Let's do this. The entirety of that distant journey will be newly reborn. Jenny TVS Wu will be a uh, Japanese voice though. This is the English um, version of the trailer by the way, that's how I'm doing. A variety of elements have been added to the game. Now reimagined with brand new visuals. Right. Let's take a look at them one by one. From the field and the battles to the in-game system. Players can travel through a vast field with their party. Castles and mountains that appear oh, this, as you rotate the this camera reminds and me lead of, you to the next adventure. The, the tales of that's very dialogues with your party pop up and you explore the in the field. So far, the the dialogues will appear in the menu screen yeah, as well. The world and inform you of the next of destination of and young. other information. This will give you a more realistic sense of being on a journey with your party. This game adapts symbol encounter system. Yeah. It is up the, to you the whether you advance, avoid reminds enemies, me of, uh, or defeat of them all. In addition, enemy leak may occur, caused as a result of being chased by a group of multiple enemies. If you start a battle in the state, you will have a series of battles with as many groups of enemies battle, as you yeah. encountered at once. Yeah, even the, the chill battle is it. Fall will reminds me of, accordingly. Reminds me this of, will be the key to so efficient the leveling. The world exploration is basically uh, how spots scattered throughout the world are places of and the interest is, unique is, to the uh, area. Reminds me of uh, Honkai Sario. If you find them, you will receive items and experience, although some spots are difficult to find. Check out the world at every turn during your journey. On the field, powerful enemies called Raid Enemies appear. If you can defeat them, you will get powerful items and weapons. However, the enemies are quite formidable. It is better to challenge them after you've mastered your skills. Oh, boss. In addition, a new activity is introduced in this game. Fishing? It is now possible to fish at various waterfronts. Fishing? Fish caught can be recorded in the fish encyclopedia and can also be exchanged for valuable items. Travel in search of the legendary giants as you fill out the fish encyclopedia. Be careful, it might not just be fish that you catch. Oh crap. Make battles more strategic and more exhilarating. The just counter is triggered when you make a well-timed back step when the enemy attacks. It lets you instantly get behind the enemy and attack at the same time, MP is recovered. The attack from behind Just is powerful, her, okay. but it won't make you invincible after the move, so you need to be careful when using it. Okay. A new element called Shield Value is introduced for enemies. Oh, when is reduced it? to zero by your attacks, the staggered, enemy enters a break the state system, and just all like, attacks uh, become one critical in, uh, hits. Kite. And uh, Final Fantasy 13 the large has... leader enemy who I have not from time to time is a powerful yet. enemy with effects that put players at a disadvantage. However, when a break occurs, a break effect is activated. The break state is linked to nearby enemies. Huh. The more trains there are, the more damage that is inflicted. So be sure to make use of this during battle. Okay, so this is something new. 
Attacking where you have an enemy a big and a big as well. or defeating an enemy also accumulates a bonus gauge. There are three levels of gauges, and the more they accumulate, the more favorable effects they can bring to the party, such as increased attack power or maximizing item effects. Interesting. However, the bonus gauge returns to zero when the character being played breaks. So be sure oh. to fight well while maintaining the gauge. In addition, the effects can be switched by changing the battle formation. The battle formation is oh, obtained during the course okay. of gameplay. Find the formation that best suits your party and your fighting style to gain an advantage in battle. After making some progress in the story, you'll be able to have follow-up attacks from party members outside the battlefield. This is called Assault Action. Ah, oh, something each like an assist action character. Can be set on an each directional button. Pressing one of the buttons while and you give us up to four assists? Damn! Following a battle member's attack, you can unleash a series of large magic wow. attacks. Or set a healer that uses healing symbology for you. So basically, you have um, up to four characters on field, and then at you the same time, you have four characters assisting you. Style with a combination That's a total of party and skills. Man. Holy crap. Note that there may be some characters that appear only in assault action. Got it. The system has been updated to be more sophisticated and comfortable. Item creation, a familiar feature of the series, makes it possible to add additional effects called factors when creating items. Okay. For example, a weapon with a factor that requires less consumption of MP, while others may create one with a factor that allows for HP recovery in critical conditions, hmm. making it possible to keep fighting without worrying about HP recovery. Creating powerful weapons and armor requires a character to have high skill levels. Create new combinations of items as you grow your characters. You can use battle points and skill points which you obtain at the end of a battle or when you level up to enhance your character's skill in a variety of ways. Okay. Battle points strengthen battle skills, special arts and symbology, increasing hit points and damage dealt. Use skill okay. points to strengthen special skills that enhance characters, status, and item creation levels. And In town, you can switch to private fun. action at any time by pressing a particular button. In this mode, side quests that are not told in the main storyline occur and more in-depth episodes with your party will unfold. Oh, by okay. experiencing private actions, the friendship level with other characters changes. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. There are also a wide variety of other missions to complete. The guide map has been updated to be easier to read, and fast travel has been added for a more comfortable gameplay experience. Hmm. Okay. Furthermore, this game features new voice recordings with original cast and the voices from the second evolution. Oh, okay. So for the Japanese one, you can you, can you have the choice to, use to choose a character by character um, basis. between the OG one and the, the other one. Okay. Cool. Now is everything sparkles anew. It's time to embark on this galactic journey full of adventures. Star Ocean the Second Story R coming November 2nd. Demo, Demo available, available now. now? I did not know that. Okay. Wow. There's a demo available right now. Okay, okay. I okay. Um I'm definitely gonna check out the the, the demo later on. But well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment out below on what are your thoughts on the gameplay trailer for Star Ocean The Second Story R. And also, do not, don't not forget to hit the subscribe button if you wish to see more of my reaction. Anyway, my name is AJ and I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao!